to another max to play video. Our subject today is the brand new audio player extension MPD. And as you can see here, we have once again the setup of a Raspberry Pi with the brand new Hi-Fi Berry max to play image. And we have a Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus already set up. So now we can take a look at the new extension MPD. The MPD setup is already set up as it is and as you can see here it's already running. Now we have some basic settings here which we'll go over. First of all we have here the typical auto start button which we can set off and on as we like. And then here we have the music directory and a playlist directory. Now in the text here you can see that uh, there are various options to feed our new player with music. One option as you can see here is a USB drive which will be found automatically in the file system mount option. Another great option to feed our player with music is a Zamba share which we can access from our Windows PCs. And the Zamba share is automatically set up when we install the image and it is accessible if we type in in our Windows Explorer backslash backslash max to play and enter and then we can see here the network share max to play music and in here we have the folder structure of the music and the playlists and if we want to add some new music we just choose a folder like this one and choose an audio file like this one and just put it in there. This is one option to feed our music player with new music. Another great option is to set up a new network file system mount point and this is done in the file system mount section of our image. Here you can see I've already set up in a mount point and the points here are very important what we have to type in here. We have a disk station so we have the backslash backslash disk station. We could also use the IP as you can see here in the example parts and in the case of the MPD player the mount point is MNT backslash MPD. Now the type is always CIFS and in the additional options we just need to add in our username and our password and all the other stuff here we can just copy and paste from our examples. And once we've saved that here we can access this uh, file system from our player. And now to see our newly added music we go back to the MPD and can with this blue button we can open the YMPD which is our web client for the player and as you can see here it's very simple but very easy to use. We click on update DB to add in our new files and we have here the queue for what's to play next. Of course we now have nothing but if we go to browse database we can find our data and our folders that we set up previously. The new folder of course has the music we put in in our Windows Explorer and if we go to mount we can see all the data that is in our mount point, all the files, all the folders. Yeah, and if we choose something and click play, simple as that, it goes into our queue and is played immediately. Okay. We also have the Mpatchy which is uh, more advanced and um, a bit more complicated 
web client for the MPD audio player, but I think the YMPD is very sufficient in what it needs to do. Now, of course, we also have additional um, configurations for our sound card. If people want to change the audio buffer size or things like that, but of course that's all optional. We have a great system here up and running and you can just install the image, do these little steps and you have a great audio player at your hands. Okay, that's it for another Max to Play video. Please subscribe and tune in next time.